Nero and me. You was here at Newcastle the other day. It was disappointing. Different ball game tonight, wasn't it, buddy? Yeah, we totally dominated Spurs, and you not believe it by how you see where they are in the league and where we are in the league. I mean, yeah. I mean was you shocked at how we dominated that game? Because that was what I can remember—the first full ninety minutes of control yeah. I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure that Spurs took a shot in the first half. That's how dominated we were. Uh, we we literally had like it was literally us versus Loris. I I didn't notice the other ten Spurs player. I thought we were just playing against the goalkeeper, and it, it really felt like a training match. And it felt like Conte really played into Ten Hag's plans. And yeah, he did. He sussed him out tactically completely because a lot of people have said it that the transitions that Spurs were trying from the three-five-two just broke down instantly. Our press was as good as I've ever seen it. The forwards were completely all over Spurs and didn't let them get out and we didn't drop the momentum. That was important, wasn't it? We didn't yeah. let it drop. Yeah, we had energy all over the field and uh, it, it felt like everyone wanted to fight, everyone wanted to win and uh, shout out to Bruno because like, people get at him sometimes when he has a bad game and like credit is due where it's due and today he... He was good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was amazing today. He he fought for every ball. He was always involved. He, was ne he never shied off a challenge and... Yeah, that's what I was impressed by him and like although there are sometimes like he just goes down a bit too easily I think he, he needs to be a bit tougher but yeah overall an amazing game by the whole team and uh, yeah Rashford uh, how many shots did he take like yeah, he should have had an hat trick yeah. mate but for Loris who was uh, outstanding tonight which says a lot for our performance as well yeah. Rashford would have had an hat trick tonight uh, he should have been more than two I think the scoreline flatters Spurs big time yeah. and again I can't remember the last time I said that it's testament to Ten Hag for getting these players back off a disappointing result against Newcastle he mentioned the performance he was happy with that and you can see what he's working on can't you as well now yeah you can see you can see that uh, midfield where we have now we have a competition for it and before it used to be oh why does Van Beek not start and now it's like no one even notices that he's not he's 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 injured or he's off and all that like uh now we have Fred fighting for it. We have Eriksson on the bench. McTominay is on the bench. Uh, Casimiro is performing now. And uh, Fred, uh, what a game. Like, Came people slated. Nothing, yeah, people would. What do you reckon to Ten Hag keeping Fred on the team after that Newcastle game? What does that tell you about Ten Hag? Uh, he sees something in training that we don't. And uh, that's probably what, why Fred started today. Because... I think McTominay is way fresher because he didn't play the weekend, he was suspended. So I think, yeah, there's something in training that he saw and definitely the energy from Fred. Yeah, yeah I mean, he has improved players that we didn't think were good enough, were, were, had any chance of improvement at all. And it just goes to show that Fred's now keeping Ericsson and Scott McTominay on the bench. It was roles reversed a few weeks ago, but everyone who comes on, you can see it in the subs, and the subs are changing games as well. Uh, for me, it just goes to show exactly what Ten Hag has done and the mentality he's implemented in this squad because everyone is fighting for it right now in that squad. Yeah, he's a great coach. Like uh, a normal coach would just buy in new players and like replace them when they can't. He can't really change their techniques. And uh, Ten Hag's been able to make people adapt. And I feel like uh, one goes to show is like Rashford. Last season, people were like going at him he has to go and all that in the summer and like whereas this season you see like his shootings improved before it was sky one and all that and now every time he's just it's on target and it's strong and all that i think he improves the players techniques all the players not just who's getting my other match for you tonight now in uh tonight i go with fred a goal and an assist to top off uh they great. were fred yeah. goals and assists weren't there they weren't nice they were, they were nice. Just, it's what you'd expect from Fred. It's weird, isn't it? He's like a, he's got like a cult sort of status around the club, aren't he? Like yeah. Everyone loves him, but everyone hates him at the same I'm, time. But. I, I go for him as man of the match because when when we saw that lineup, everyone was why Fred, why not someone else in midfield, and like he proved everyone wrong. There's not one player. I mean, one person in the stadium today would have told me Fred is going to have the a great performance. He's going to carry us to. Uh, over the line and he's done that yeah yeah one person he didn't prove wrong he actually proved right was the manager and yeah. that says everything he's got trust and the players have got trust in him yeah. we move on mate
Chelsea at weekend. Cheers for coming on there, mate. Thank you.